When we're designing our model railways, sometimes getting the track formations you want is easy. Other times it just doesn't come together and you have to resort to a bit of planning and fiddling. Let me explain. One of the key design features required for the Yarslow layout was all the fiddling around that was going to happen at middle junction. This is where the main circuit around the shed, represented here by the red line, the up line and the blue line, the down line, had to interact with the lines going from Trinity Square, that's the green on the right, to Trinity Square storage on the left. What I wanted essentially is the ability for a train that was on the red line, travelling left to right naturally, to be able to dive across and access Trinity Square on the green, and obviously for the Trinity Square trains on the green to come out and access the blue down line. But at the same time, I wanted anything coming out of Trinity Square storage on the yellow to be able to access the red up line, and anything on the down blue line to return to Trinity Square storage. So if you like, a giant scissor crossing. So I started by laying in the first two lines going from Trinity Square storage on the yellow across to the up main and coming from the down main back to Trinity Square storage. So far so good. Naturally the next thing to do was to take a spur from the yellow going the other way. So now trains coming out of the green line could cross onto the blue down main and trains coming on the red up main could come across through the yellow and into the green and access Trinity Square. And that actually solved my problem. All except all of the turnouts here were going to be large radius and thus were about 10 inches long. The crossings were about 10 inches long but the total site I had available was just a little under 4 feet so neat though this solution was, it wasn't going to fit the site that I had. Time for a rethink. After a bit of fiddling around, I came up with the idea of starting with a cross like this. So the red line uh, going top left over to the right hand side. The yellow in this case is double but could be single. And I thought if I simply used slips in the middle, then I could allow the red line to access uh, left to right, blue similarly, and then the yellow could access the red, uh, blue to yellow, yellow to green, green to yellow, green to blue, and so on and so forth. Oh, that seemed to work perfectly well. So I simply substituted the two center crossings for double slips, and I had what I wanted. Now I could run trains around the main line on the red or the blue, take trains from yellow to red or yellow to green, and from green to blue or green to yellow. The only snag with that was that if I had trains are running around the main line on either or both of the red and blue lines, then in order to get from Trinity Square storage on the yellow to the green Trinity Square tracks or back, I had to get in the way of the main line running. So I had to stop the main line running or change the points quickly rush the, th the, the trains through the crossings and then change the points back all before the main line arrived. That didn't sound like a very good solution. But what it led to was this. The idea of adding a loop line from the yellow to the green around the bottom of the junction. So now I've got a single yellow track leading to Trinity Square storage that comes around the bottom of the junction on a bypass if you will to access either the Trinity Square arrival, the top of the two green lines, or Trinity Square departure, the lower of the two green lines coming back the other way, down the bypass and into Trinity Square storage. The two single slips allowed the red trains on the up main and the blue trains on the down main to circulate without interfering with this Trinity Square to Trinity Square storage move. It also kept the advantage I had earlier that I could go from yellow to red, from blue to yellow, from green to blue and from red to green. So it seemed to work out fine. 
and here is what it looks like in real life and we can see the coal train is going to come round on the up main that's the far right of these tracks the red one in our diagram the express is traveling on the down main that's the blue and then the DMU is going to come from this Trinity Square storage which is yellow on the plan around the bypass and down to the bottom tracks which are the access to Trinity Square the whole thing a little complicated here by the fact that the branch line runs over the top but that is the evolution of a junction Thank you.